Oxford Reading Tree. Roman Adventure. Series graded by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichto. Biff and Chip were doing a project on the Romans. The project was for Mrs. May. Biff made a target and Chip drew a picture. Mom and Dad looked at the project. The Romans are interesting, said Biff. Chip showed Mom his picture. It was a picture of a Roman chariot. The chariot was pulled by four horses. Biff showed Dad the model. The Romans had chariot races, said Biff. The races were dangerous. A chariot was so heavy. It needed four horses to pull it. Mom and Dad played a joke on Biff and Chip. They dressed up as Romans. It's time for supper, called Dad. Kipper had some pizza and Mom had some grapes. This is a Roman supper, said Mom. Romans didn't have pizzas, laughed Biff. How do you know? Asked Mom. Biff and Chip went to Biff's room. Biff wanted to take the chariot to school, but she still had to paint it. Chip was good at painting, so he helped Biff. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. The magic took Biff and Chip on a new adventure. Oh no, said Biff. I'm still painting the model chariot. The magic took the children back to Roman times. It took them to Rome. Biff and Chip saw a girl. She was playing in the street. The girl looked at Biff's model. It's a good model, she said, but it doesn't look quite right. We've never seen a real chariot, said Biff. The Roman girl was called Diana. She had a brother called Mark. He was a chariot driver. Mark looked at Biff's model chariot. I can show you a real chariot, he said. Mark opened some big doors. Inside was a real chariot. It was like Biff's model, but it was very big. Wow, said Biff. Mark let Biff go on the chariot. Biff pretended she was a chariot driver. She pretended she was in a race. I wish I could be a chariot driver, said Biff. Mark laughed at Biff. You have to be strong to race chariots, he said. I'm in a race today. Come and watch it. Everyone was hungry, so Diana took the children home. We can have some bread, she said. My father is a baker. He makes the best bread in Rome. Everyone looked at the bread, but something was wrong. The bread didn't look right. It was flat. It didn't look like bread at all. Diana's father made some more bread. He baked it in the oven, but it was flat too. 
This is bad," said Diana's father. "Nobody will buy bread like this." Chip looked at the flat bread. He had a good idea. We can make pizzas," he said. "What are pizzas?" asked Diana. "We don't know what pizzas are." Chip told Diana's mother how to make pizzas. Everyone helped. Diana's mother cooked the pizzas in the big oven. The pizzas look good. I hope you like them," said Chip. "Everyone likes pizzas," said Biff. "They smell good," said Diana's mother. The pizzas tasted good too. Diana's father was pleased. "Now we can sell them," he said. "We can sell lots and lots." What a good job! The bread was flat. They went outside to sell the pizzas, but there was nobody in the street. There was nobody to buy the pizzas. Where is everyone? Asked Biff. Everyone had gone to the chariot races. Diana's father was upset. He looked at the pizzas. All that work for nothing, he said. How can we sell pizzas when everyone is at the chariot races? Diana had an idea. She put some pizzas in a basket. Come on, she called. If everyone is at the chariot races, we can sell the pizzas there. They took the pizzas to the chariot races. Come and buy a pizza, called Diana. But nobody bought the pizzas. Everyone was looking at the races. The children saw Mark, so they gave him one of the pizzas. These pizzas are good, said Mark. Biff looked at the chariot, and she had a good idea. The children had a banner. It was about the pizzas. Mark put it on his chariot. The people laughed when they saw the banner. Why has Mark put a banner on his chariot? People asked. And what are pizzas? The race began, and everyone cheered when Mark came first. The people ran to buy the pizzas. These pizzas are good, they said. What a good idea to put a banner on the chariot! Just then. Some soldiers grabbed the family and the children. You must stop selling pizzas, they said. The emperor wants to see you. Come with us. The emperor was angry. This has got to stop, he said. Who put this banner on the chariot? And what are pizzas? Would you like to try one? Asked Diana. They taste good, said the emperor. You can deliver some to the palace, but I don't want banners on the chariots. So take your banner away. Just then, the magic key glowed. Chip looked at the little banner. He put it on Biff's chariot. The emperor didn't like banners on chariots," he said. "I wonder what Mrs. May will think." The end.